Today I will show you how to add DHTMLX Scheduler into a Salesforce Lightning Web Component. We will be using the Salesforce command line interface to create Lightning Web Component and upload it to an organization. Sign up for a free developer account if you don't have one. On the left in the search bar, find and select DevHub. In the new settings window, select Enable Dev Hub. Let's create a base directory for the Salesforce DX project. Create a Salesforce DX project via CLI. Go to the created project. Authorize an org using the web server flow. Update your project configuration file. Set the FSDC login URL parameter to your My Domain URL. You can find your org's My Domain URL on the My Domain Setup page, for example. Create a Scratch org. In order to start using the library, we need to upload it inside Salesforce as a static resource. Thus, open your Scratch org. Now, open the Static Resources tab and press the New button. Give it a meaningful name. We use DHTMLX Scheduler. Choose the zip file with the library itself. The archive must contain the DXTMLX Scheduler JS and CSS files and choose the public cache control in order to improve the performance. Press the Save button. Now, we have DHTMLX Scheduler inside Salesforce. The core scheduler entities are events. A good approach is to store all properties of scheduler entities as plain JSON inside Salesforce. Let's create an event object. Open the Object Manager and select Create, then Custom Object. Give the name for the event object. Let it be scheduler event slash scheduler events. The record name must match the object name. Press the Save button. After the object is created, open the Fields and Relationships tab. Press the New button. Select Date and Time as the data type and press the Next button. Name it Start Date. It stores the JSON serialized task properties. Press the Next button, accepting all default settings, until the Save and New button is available. Create an End Date field. Select Date and Time as the data type. Press the Next button, accepting all default settings, until the Save and New button is available. Create a Text field. Select Text as the data type. Press the Next button, accepting all default settings, until the Save button is available. In the end, it should look like this. To create a Lightning Web component, run the command. Change the component definition in Scheduler JS Meta XML to expose it in the Lightning App Builder. Open the Scheduler HTML file and add the following code into it. Open the scheduler.js file and add the following code into it. The next step is to create a class that will make possible the interactions between the Lightning component and our data model. After creation, open scheduler data CLS and add the following code into it. Pull source from the scratch org to your project and then push the sources to the Scratch org. Open the Lightning App Builder, create a new Lightning page. Pick App Page, then Page Name and Layout. You should see a scheduler custom component available for the new page. Append it to any region and save. Activate the page, Save the changes.
open the application page. It should be accessible in the app launcher if you click it and type scheduler. If everything went well, you should see a simple scheduler demo running in the lightning page. Now you have a fully functioning scheduler inside Salesforce. You can view the full demo on GitHub where you can clone or download it and use it for your projects. Happy coding.